we are back. We're back. We're back. Yes. Uh, and not only that, we have reached one thousand subscribers. One thousand. Wow. Yeah, one thousand. Oh my man. gosh. One k. Can they yeah. fit in this room? No. They no. That's, <laughs> That's why there's only two of us here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, we're back with a, a new podcast. Yeah. I, I, and if it's your first time listening, I am Sean. I'm Felicia. And this is Wildlife. Wildlife. Yeah, we podcast. are a yeah a Singaporean wildlife podcast where we're just two friends talking and bantering about wildlife. Wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of new guys coming on board uh, the channel. A lot of new people. Yeah, and and that's why we I just see you. Mm-hmm, I, and I thought of just you know making a a special. Uh, podcast episode mm. so, um, so that all of you can you know know this channel a little bit better or mm. know me or, or, or the whole process or the journey of how uh, of how Little Red Jungle came to be yeah yeah and what better way to do that through a Q&A yeah to ask me anything yeah so you know those influencers like to do that right wow, wow, so wow. I, I posted a post on Instagram and yes. Insta story asking um, all, of, all, all of the followers to yeah. basically ask me any questions yeah um, and yeah we, we've collated some of them and we're gonna answer yes I have it already today. here yeah. but actually before that um uh, I just want to say that a lot of the in the post, mm-hmm. uh, a lot of you guys actually we're just giving lots of comments of support. Uh, and before we even begin the questions, I just want, I just want to say to, to all of you guys, maybe I might just throw them here. Uh, thank you for for all the kind um, comments and support. You know, it really means wow. a lot uh, to us. For mm-hmm. you know that you guys even watch our videos and and listen to the podcast and stuff. I think um, there is no YouTube channel without the people watching the the videos. Yeah, uh, so true. So thank you for. I know 1,000, you know, still very small compared to like, you know, ah. big channels, but I, I, I'm still very appreciative. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It's a huge milestone and it deserves, worth celebrating. So yeah. congrats. Yay. Alright, okay, let's yes. go into it. Let's Q&A. go to the questions, yes. Hafizoid. Hafizoid. Hafizoid, mm. our friend Yeah, Hafiz. it's actually our friend Hafiz, yeah. Um, why are all your titles like that? I can so imagine him <laughs> asking it in his... I can so imagine his voice okay. asking you this. Why are all my titles like that? Like what? <laughs> what do you mean, Hafiz? If, if you guys watch my videos, uh, it's true. <laughs> my titles are what, what do they, a bit what does weird. What does he mean by like that? <laughs> it's um, hmm, let's just say it's 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 punny in a way that um, if you are of a certain age, you would get it. Yeah, if you get it, you get it. <laughs> if you get it. it, you get it. If you don't, sure. Like it's that's it's, why the the whole <laughs> okay. Wait, so, so so to answer the question, why are your videos like that? Uh, your titles. titles like that, um. Because that's my humor. <laughs> <laughs> it is, eh? it makes you it's, unique. Yeah. It's really just my humor. I, I, you know, for a long period of time, I was debating should I go like mainstream and, you know, how YouTube always have like 10 types of this, 10 types of that. I mean, mm. it's, it's proven where, you know, on YouTube, some template titles do work. Yeah. But I was thinking like, it's, it's not my kind of humor. Know, Why not yeah. just dish out my, yeah. my puns? I mean, the fact that Hafizoid over here has like noticed it. Which I mean, means it shows he, that it is def- definitely working. He gets the humor. Yeah, he gets the humor <laughs> firstly, and that your titles are actually you know making yeah. a stand. My my okay, and like what Felicia said, it's really if you know you know because mm. one of the okay one of my favorite titles um uh, this is about the the Lanias of Fruity Cosa or okay. your simple IA. Uh-huh. The title is called C B Leave, <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> if you have been through army, you you would know what. This, this this pun means, uh-huh. but um, if, if you actually watch the video, it really talks about if you when you see a bee, because the 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 simple IA, mm. um, it attracts the xylocopa bees. Okay. It, 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 yeah, it attracts a certain type of bee, like okay. carpenter bees, yeah. to come and pollinate the flower because you know it, it's it's like a food source for the bees. Okay. So these bees are very big. It's very scary. So I'm just asking you to like when you see the bee, you leave lah. Yeah. Not wrong lah. See bee leave. <laughs> hey, I mean you see the bee, you leave. But I thought it was because the leaf looks like a... No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh. I mean, yes. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. I, I'm definitely going to bleep that out. But oh, crap. That's what <laughs> No, in army, that's why the I leaf see. is called... I see. Leaf. Got but, it, um, got it. I think that's the title that I'm... Most until now, still of. most proud. Yeah, it, it's a lot of layers to it. Uh. Like, it's really if you get it, you get it. Yeah, I mean, if if any of my titles, if you watch the videos, yes. it all makes sense. It all makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's, all it's well thought out. Children friendly. Yeah, it's it's very well thought out. Yeah. If you think there's something wrong with the title, then you, something wrong is with you. Okay, not with the title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it means you <laughs> think anyhow one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's all clean. Hafizoid, yeah, it's, it's I'm looking at you, like, Hafizoid, yeah. Hafiz. Hafizoid. Yeah. <laughs> name and shame. Yeah. Name and shame. Hafizoid yeah. here. <laughs> okay, next one. Next one. So. It's from Ir- Irwin Diaz. Mm. 
Oh, Windy, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. <laughs> how, how did you come up with, wow, look down here, so many plants and animals? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. Good question. <laughs> Good question. I really wonder how your brain works. Huh? Uh, okay, the truth is, that was not supposed to be the intro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it really what, isn't. Was it? what was the intro? Okay, to be honest, I, I, when I first came out with this channel, I wanted, obviously, an intro. Mm. Um, I actually made a jingle. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll play it somewhere here. Oh my but it's supposed to be the last seven notes of the national anthem. Mm. Um, and I kind of like rearranged it to make it into a tune. Oh wow. But as I was trying, okay, I'm not like, I'm not a piano boy. La. I mean, I, I, try, I try to play with it as much as I can, as in like on the yeah. computer when I was making the jingle. Oh, but wow. um, I don't know, I just, it didn't have that. That spark. That jingle vibe. Yeah. yeah. So, so, cause you know, like, when you listen to like YouTubers, not just YouTubers, like brands, uh, their jingles are very iconic. Mm. So, I, I, I wanted something to, that really just resonates. Mm. It didn't sit well with you, lah. Yeah. So, mm. um, I was playing with it actually for like a week plus. Wow. Or, almost two weeks. But that concept, though, like, wow. right? The last seven notes of National That's Anthem. so cool. Because, I mean, the whole brand is about local, like, local, Singaporean yeah, wildlife, yeah. right? I was thinking, let's really dive deep into wow, the brand. That's damn cool. Um, but it didn't work out. So, on the last day, I think like maybe on one and a half weeks, uh, at the last day, um, I was just thinking like, you know what, I'm just gonna... Oh, wow, look, now there's many plants and animals. <laughs> it works! It's just like, I gave up. This, that was me giving up. Wow. And then I, I was just, okay, let's just find some um, royalty-free song to put at the back just as a, as a, a starting. Wow. Add a lion roar at the end. Yes. Um, and it just, th- th- that was me giving up and somehow it worked. It worked! I, it, I don't know, it, it's um, even like, I have... My friends who watch the, the, the videos, they would do that too, to like, hey, plants and animals. Yes! I'm like, That's the jingle already. Yeah, it, so it, 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 it wasn't intentional, but yeah, sure. Wow. That's, sure. that's so, uh, that's such a, a feel good story. It's like, right? you go through all that, sometimes it just comes to you at the end. Yeah, like. So, and, like, don't give up, you know? <laughs> and, yeah, like, and, yeah, and even though it's not the intention, yeah. Um, I, I'm, I, I'm actually really happy yeah. it, it turned out that way also. Yeah, things fall into place. Uh. Yeah. Love it. Love yeah, it. yeah. That's a cute story. I didn't even know That's about it. that also. Okay, next one. Yes. I hui en la. I hui wen la. Okay. How do you choose what animal and plants to cover? Ooh, okay. Yeah. It's not so much about how do I choose. I think it's it's more about how do I sequence. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I um if you look at my past videos, I always try to diversify the type of content uh, or diversify the type of plant or animal that I feature. Mm. Right? If it's a bird, then next one, I maybe let's do a reptile. Mm. Next one, then let's do a plant. Okay. Then let's do an insect. So I, I try to diversify so that I can, number one, cover more grounds. Yes. And number two, I don't want to be just a, for example, a bird channel. Mm. Right? I want to show different aspects of yes. wildlife in Singapore that people may not appreciate mm-hmm. um, and I want to, to bring focus or, or, or I want to highlight those animals so that people get to learn about them so I think it's about how I what's my next different animal mm. I think that's how I, I, I think that's the true. process that's true from from that point on um, I'll, I'll probably either do my research and what what can I cover or I base it off something that I've already I may have stumbled upon doing my shoots and mm. I filmed something oh let's maybe let's do this for the next episode mm. like oh you know like as I was filming a Woodpecker, maybe I saw a, a green crested lizard. Uh, wow. Then that could be the next episode, right? So I think that's the whole process, or maybe I see something new. Mm. Um, and I think the good thing about scheduling things like that is also because I personally, I really like plants. Mm. <laughs> I, I, I think plants are super cool, yes. and people don't give them enough credit. Yeah. Um, and I kind of similar, every once in a while, sneak a plant in yeah, to. Yeah. to to show how cool plants are. Yeah, I mean, it's also keeping the variety happening also. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, all of it's wildlife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plants, wildlife. Which is, which is what I, I want people to, to try to appreciate, mm, right? Yeah. You, you can see a cool crocodile and next to it, the grass is actually quite cool too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's nice, yeah. And I, I feel like sometimes when you go out and like hunt for like wild animals, yeah. like certain like mammals in mind, yeah. and then sometimes you can't find it also, but the plant, <sighs> at least you know. Oh. That Actually, is. yes, the plants are my favorite episodes to film yes. because it only takes one day to get all the shots I need, and probably another day to to film some extra stuff that I maybe missed out oh, um, during the first day. Perfect, perfect, perfect that you're talking about oh, how long why? it takes because the next question actually comes from G Zero. I hope I'm pronouncing G- it right. G Zero, G Zero. Okay, she's asking how long does filming usually take? 
Mm. <laughs> it really depends. Yeah. It really depends. Episode. It's very hard. Yeah, planned episode can take like two days max. <laughs> yeah, and that's considered short already. <laughs> Sometimes even one day. Wow. Right? Um, and uh, for some animals, it takes so long that the episode doesn't come out. <laughs> Ooh, like what? Like what? <laughs> um, okay, so I, I have been trying to film uh, Raffles Bandit Langers. Oh, yeah. For quite a, a long time. I haven't time. found any, yeah. I, you know what? I, I found the Dusky Langers, which dusky. they are much less timid. Oh. Uh, they, they, I think two or three of them swim from Malaysia over. They're not native, but they swim over. Okay. And yeah, I, I managed to film uh, some footage of them, but I now still no Raffles Bandit Langers. Oh, no. Um, so some episodes, uh, yeah, they don't even come out. <laughs> So they, that's how long it takes. That's how long it takes. Like, it's still ongoing, actually. It's, it's still ongoing. Uh, <laughs> so if uh, if you actually listen to uh, Wildlife, uh, preview um, uh, Raffles Bandit Langer video is in the works, but yes. it's just, I've got nothing. I've got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and and really? that has happened many times. Mm. I, I would film like a, a good one, two weeks. Yes. Nothing come out. Mm. Then I would just, let's, let's just film a plant first. Yes. And then let's just uh, publish a video that I've already prepared. Yes. Um, just let's just let's just publish that first, because mm. I, I think most people know by now. But YouTubers have like a backlog of yeah. of, of videos. Um, so, you know, one that's really ready. Let's just push it out. Um, but the the sad thing about that is, after a while, your backlog just your backlog would just get lesser and lesser and lesser. Correct, and you have correct. to like, let's just speed things up. Yes. Wow. Um, and you're also like a very small team, so like. I'm just one person. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the time, I mean, every once in a while, like with wildlife as Felicia, but um, on the regular episodes, um, maybe sometimes, you know, maybe a friend would like, hey, you want to go hike? I was like, hey, actually, I'm going on a shoot. You want to, let's just hike together. Yeah, while. exactly. <laughs> yeah. So um, sometimes they would, sometimes they would help to, help to spot an animal. Mm. Um, but yeah, it, most of the time, it's just myself and mm-hmm. it takes really long. So to answer your question, it takes... It depends <laughs> on what I'm looking for. <laughs> uh, but it's a good question. Yeah. I mean, it really depends. Uh, it really depends, yeah. it really depends. And okay, moving on to the next one, Jason, Jay Zen Wildlife. Mm. What's your gear or your everyday carry? EDC. EDC. E- I, I think that's everyday carry. Yeah, what's your gear? Ooh, so let me look at my camera. <laughs> no. Okay. Show your yeah. gears on so here. My, my, um, I can't show you my gear because I'm using it to film mm-hmm. <laughs> this podcast. Um, okay. But I'll show a video somewhere. Um, basically, I'm. I'm a Canon boy, mm-hmm. but a poor Canon boy. <laughs> so like, not very expensive gear. It's basically a Can- uh, Canon ATD, mm-hmm. Canon EOS ATD. Um, in terms of lenses, I've got a few, right? I've got um, I've got a Kit Two, I've got a Kit One, and for the animals, I use a um, seventy to two hundred uh, mm uh, I, telephoto. I mean mid range telephoto lens. Wow. Yep. And I said you might think, hey, you say you are a cheap Canon boy, but that lens quite expensive. It's actually third hand. Oh. <laughs> it's a third hand lens, um, which I, I very I, I I was very lucky to have stumbled upon mm. a post online mm. um, of someone trying to sell away their second hand uh, 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 lens. Yeah. So I'm the third hand. <laughs> so would you would you say that like equipment is important in running like a channel like yours then? Ooh, fun. Yeah. Uh, actually, I mean, if if it's for wildlife, I think it. Um. Hmm. I wouldn't say it's very important, but I think it definitely helps. Mm. Um, Cause even for for myself, like uh, it depends on what animals are you shooting, mm. right? But if it's an animal, uh, if it's an insect, um, I would add on my. I, I mean, I, I I don't bring it every day, but if I decide I want to shoot an insect, right, I'll bring my macro lens attachment, mm. right? That I'll put onto my kit one. Correct, correct. Uh, kit correct. one lens. Um, so I I I, I am prepared. Right, if I'm shooting, and then I don't, and then for insects, then I don't need to bring my my telephoto lens, lah. Yeah. Right. Okay. But yeah, for for any of you who want to delve into, uh, I think Jason Wildlife does his own. Yeah. Uh, photography and and uh. Maybe that's yeah, what he's asking stuff. about. Yeah, photography stuff. Yeah. Um, I I I think you definitely have your your gear set, but yes. I think for anyone of you who are new to, you know, taking photos or videos of wildlife, even back to your question, is it important? I personally don't think it's. The most important I think it's who's behind the camera and yeah. how you do things. Yeah. Right. Some phones can zoom really far. Can yeah. zoom yeah, can zoom into really far out objects as well. Um those work I don't I don't really think it's just about the gear. Yeah. Some mirrorless cameras also they're really good. Um and and affordable mm. 
mm. affordable as well. Yeah, there are plenty on the market now. But I ask because like, you know, when we want to observe wildlife, we also do yeah. have to be like a bit of a display. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So which is why you have your telephoto yeah, lens. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, usually those are a bit more expensive. Yeah. yeah. But there are definitely places, like I said, where you can get definitely, things yeah. Yeah, for, for third, hand. third hand. But it uh, works well, right? Even though it's third hand. Oh, yeah. It works perfectly. Right, almost new. It, yeah. it, it, it works perfectly. Nice. Um, mm. what else? Oh, and then everyday carry. I think we covered this in our hiking episode. Right? Yeah. We, remember, I... I personally do still bring my first aid kit yeah. <laughs> and my rain gear. Yeah, um, your bag is always full and like, even when like, he's just meeting me for lunch, <laughs> he will always bring his bag along. It's yeah, like I'll, very I'll bring my bag with, with a first aid kit yeah. and, and uh, maybe a pack of like spare masks. Yes, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I just showed up my... Sh- spare mask of like 20 packs. <laughs> just insane. I mean, you won't know, maybe you walk halfway and then you see someone maybe no mask then you can just hey That's you need I, I have one you know like a class of 20 students I have given I have given random strangers yeah, exactly. I mean not a class of 20 students <laughs> but like random strangers sometimes they they left their mask half like you know in yeah, the car and then they walk true. out already then like eh That's true. then they That's nice of you. I, like, I, I, I have the one one I have, I have anyway, 20 anyway it's so like it's very like also like. <laughs> anything else that I'm missing water bottle mm, important um, any snacks inside oh but I, I do not I, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I do not bring Food. insect repellent. Oh, yes, because you're scared that it will harm the insect. Yeah, I, 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 insect repellent kills more than just mosquitoes, mm. right? So, um, I, I don't... I mean, there are instances where I have filmed an animal and my legs are covered with mosquito bites. Oh my god! But the good thing is, I, I do check if that place is a, a dengue zone or not. Oh, great, great, great. So, um, Always be prepared. I'm, I'm prepared. Uh, I guess I, I, I feel okay. Mm. Getting a little bit of bites. Yeah, that's sure. the thing. Like, we're going into their territory. Like, why are we bringing our foreign, like, human stuff into it? Our yeah. chemicals. Yeah. yeah. That's no, very I, nice. I just, I just, yeah. Would you say that that is the hardest part about filming? Because we're going into the next question oh. where, by JC Rowe again. Uh-huh. JC Rowe. Um, yeah. Is he's asking? She's asking. What's the hardest part about filming during COVID? Oh, also not just in general, oh, yeah. but COVID. Yeah. Like, uh, COVID especially. The mosquitoes were not that hard during COVID. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> the, no, the, the, that wasn't the hardest. Okay, if, okay, if I really want to get into it, because this channel came into existence at the start of COVID. Yes, yeah. A main struggle that I had was should I wear my mask in oh, the videos? Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, so if, you, if you've seen my, if you have seen my first few videos... You were wearing masks. I was wearing a mask uh-huh. because I... But, you know, because the, the rules for... The rules for Shoots. Shoots were a bit ambiguous, yes. right? If you if you are an organization like MediaCorp yes. with a license, yes, you can mm. film without mask. But a minute the minute you stop filming you have to put on a mask. Yes. But you see for a YouTuber, yeah. <laughs> I am not a licensed company. Yes. Yeah. So it's a bit tricky and I didn't want to take the risk. Mm-hmm. No, but I think the, the main worry was for if you think of any YouTube channel with a personality in front of a camera, you yes. kinda wanna know who, who you're looking at. Yeah. Right? Like I mean, I'm not Sia. I mean, like, I don't have the singing capability of Sia to just hide behind some hair and then like, oh, find out who am I? <laughs> no, I'm not. You know, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm talking about animals. Yes, I, um, yeah. And I think it, it to, to form a connection with your viewers, I think it's also kind of important to show your face. Mm, definitely. Yeah, so I, I really, like, struggled with that. Mm. Um, and then also the whole, like, it, you know, going outdoors, going to places where there are a lot of people mm. would you get COVID mm. I mean those are really hard and like um, definitely will force definitely will form some sort of challenge to you because mm. for our next question uh, oh. Cricket Spider would like to know which episode was the most challenging to film to date oh yeah the most challenging to film to date are the videos that I mentioned that have not been filmed <laughs> yet <laughs> like literally you're just waiting for them to make their appearance yeah uh, yeah those those uh, the episode, I, I think even on top of that, I mean, okay, let's just talk about the episodes that have already been out. Okay. Because I can just very easily say Raffles Bandit Langer. Yes. <laughs> um, but even, okay, let me, let me look through my mm, videos. Yeah, yeah, what is the, which one's the hardest, you know? Hardest, ah. Yeah. I oh, forgot to mention, Crooked Spider is the patron. Oh, yes. Good job. Thank you for supporting the channel directly. <laughs> uh, let's see. Probably one of the podcasts. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> Okay, I th- I think it's it's any of the the episodes where it's really hard to find that animal, mm. uh, or even just my night shoots. Correct, correct. Because it's very dark. The only field of vision 
is your torchlight. Mm. It's just that small circle of where you point to. So it's really hard to, to film. Yeah, spot. Mm. To spot an animal. So if, if my, my Ubin nighttime video mm. or or even the owl video that I, 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 I recently posted, you have to you have to rely on every other sense mm. sometimes. It, sometimes even if you point here, but you have to really just listen out yes. for an animal. Wow. Um, like, hey, I point here, hey, but the owl sound here. Like, so mm. you just, you know, you have to be prepared and whip out your That's night vision crazy. binoculars or, yeah. or stuff if you need to. Yeah. So besides, besides in Singapore, do you have any desire to kind of like go across the border, go overseas and visit other wildlife? Because this question is asked by G0 again. Mm-hmm. Any plans to explore ecology in other regions or countries? Borders are open, Leo. Wing, wings. Wings, wings. Wings, wings. <laughs> wings, wings. Um, that was very awkward to say out loud. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, I, I, I have thought about it before. Okay. I have thought about it before. Because there will come a point of time where I would have covered a lot of animals <laughs> in Singapore and there's you know there's it's a finite amount. Yes. Right? Um so yeah, I, I have thought about it like in terms of um a concept where let's go overseas and mm. maybe let's compare to the local at, Yeah, one. let's compare some stuff. Let's just say if they have an owl in in, mm. in um South America. Mm. Right? Let's compare with an owl in, in Singapore. Mm. Or even or even Places where, yeah, or even places where the species, we have two species, let's compare, are there any differences and stuff like that. Um, I have thought about it, uh, but going overseas, need money. Yeah, so if you're looking to collaborate, <laughs> again, my email is here. <laughs> I mean, I'm if, saying if it for you, you, I'm saying it for you. No, but I mean, I mean if any of, you know, airlines, um, like SIA, <laughs> school, you know, if you want to collaborate. <laughs> again, the email is just below. Over here. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I think that's that's uh, or any of the travel bureaus, yeah. you know, from South South America, okay, wow. UK. You know, you want to compare, you know, maybe I can help your tourism a bit, right? That's I don't true. know, I don't know. That's true. I don't know. I think but... it's a good idea. I mean, <laughs> as long as the opportunity is that you're open to it, la. Right, right. I mean, but, but yeah, the the idea has been there. Yeah. I think. Um, and content really, whatever you just said, it sounds very interesting. Sounds cool, right? Yeah, yeah I think it's kind of fun. Or even yeah. plants. Let's compare some plants, Ooh, trees. With, yes, you know, very different. Places where there's snow. Mm-hmm. How does that work? Yeah. And, 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 and the difference of the forest there and in a tropical area like yeah, Singapore. I think the it's characteristics pretty cool. of the plants, how they survive yeah. in these harsh conditions. Yeah, but, uh, sounds like you have great plans for Little Red Jungle. Cool. Yeah. So we can move on to the next question because the next question is... Uh, uh, really digging into your your future and like your heart for LRJ. Okay. So if someone offers to buy your YouTube channel now, will you sell it? <laughs> why or why not? Is this asked by Ying Wai with a lot of eyes at the end? Ying Wai. Ying Wai. <laughs> Ying Wai. Ying Ying Wai. Away. Ying Wai. Yeah. Uh, oh. So will you sell your channel? So let's say if like I'm sorry. South America natural. Um, wants to buy my channel. Yeah. I'm sorry. What about National Geography wanna buy your channel? channel? Woo! Right now. They won't lie. <laughs> they no, won't. who knows? <laughs> they who won't knows? lie. Why would Are they buy watching? why would they buy this channel? Um Why not? I okay, I, I think okay, the thing with such things is Let's look at the contract. <laughs> Let's look at the contract. So not opposed to it, basically. No, no it's not really. But I mean, if if I am still a major shareholder, yeah, in it, for sure, sure, yeah. sure. But I, I I do not want to relinquish all control oh, of sure. the channel. I think it's like a little baby, right? I wow. think it's you you. I've spent, I mean, coming to two years now mm-hmm. on this channel. Um. Everything from the brand, from the logo, from the designs, from the concepts, from, from the, wow, the so script, yeah, animals. everything, everything. It's it's no matter how the whole process came about. It's something that I created. Yeah. I think it's it's very hard to just, you know, what, I'm gonna sell the whole thing to you. Mm. Ah, take take take. No, I mean it. I I I do take pride in 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 Correct. what I have done with this channel. But so, do you foresee it being a topic of discussion later on in the line? I mean, if it if it Down ever line, happens, okay. yeah. I want to see the contract. <laughs> Show me the contract. I mean, even if you give me a contract, very nice, I give you maybe thirty <laughs> percent. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, but I guess it depends. Like, it depends. Really dep- what, what is your what What is your purpose with your channel? Yeah, why do they so... want to buy a channel? I mean, firstly, I need to. I think I need to be big enough to to, to make the channel. But mm. I, I don't think I would sell uh. I mean, mm. because you will always want to be a part of this. I want to be a part of it. I want yeah. to be in control of the direction, yeah. I want to be in control in, in, in what I put out. Yeah, I mean, there's gonna be a perfect agreement where you can still be the main yep. deciding yep. person. Yep. 
but while still getting that the yep. support that you need. Yeah, yeah. but even then also, it, it needs you need time to to think about that because when it comes to such businesses, right? Do you, what is their own goals and does uh-huh. it align with yours? And ah, if it if, yeah, it, if yeah, it, yeah. it clashes, would it tear the company apart? Okay. Because both of you now are legally yeah, binded yeah. to a entity, right? A, 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 a business entity. Yeah. So it, it, it might be a bit tricky. So I don't know. That's something that I, mm. I can't just answer like that. But let's say in a perfect world where everything's like, you know, aligned, oh, value aligned. Okay, I'll give you the 30% not. Okay, oh, okay. <laughs> but maybe for, let's that for, you, for uh. maybe for $6 million. Like. <laughs> maybe your next goal. Uh. 1K six to $6 million. Million. <laughs> 1K subscribers, next goal is $6 million. Dollars. <laughs> Dollars, ah. Uh. Seven dollars, ah. Uh, SGD. Yeah. You want, you want USD, higher USD, USD, USD can, uh. yeah, Anything yeah, that's yeah. higher, I'm also, I'm also down, I'm so down. Can, uh, also can, lah. Uh, we close can, one eye, lah. Uh, uh. uh. For 30%, I think quite good. No. <laughs> you should go to Shark, uh, go Shark, on Shark Tank. <laughs> Give, bring, bring out my auntie persona, yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you one, ha. Uh. Actually, 30%, actually not bad smart. <laughs> What I'm offering now is 30%, no, 30% for $6 million. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, okay, what's your current valuation now? 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> No one's gonna buy. <laughs> hey, you never know, man. You never know. For one thousand, what lah? No one's it's gonna buy lah. It's one thousand unique and. Hey, but all yeah, all of you one thousand people. Exactly. I yeah, again, I'm appreciative. Value of, of, all, of, of yes. all subscribers. Yes, you guys are very valuable. Yes, yes. yes. Yay! I'm coming yes. to the end of the Q and A. What's that? The last. Really, really oh, good yay. questions. Thank you. And really good answers as well. Thanks. Like we have really not seen this side of the red jungle, and it's yeah. quite interesting. Yeah, and and. Again, thank you for all the, 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 the people who asked the questions. Um, it was only 24 hours because it's a story. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, so yeah. some of you, uh, some of you DM'd me like mm. Hafiz and, and, and uh, Erwin. Yeah. So, so thank you for that. And um, uh, yeah, just again, want to say thank you. I, I, uh, we were gone for quite a while. We couldn't find yes. a, a, a common time. Where, yeah. Because both of us will you know, work outside of, of, of and YouTube reservice as well. Also, and yeah. service and everything. Yeah. Um, but now we're back. Mm-hmm. And uh, thanks for waiting. And uh, I hope that this episode was fun. I mean, it, it's not exactly wildlife. Yeah. It's not exactly wildlife, but... Um, more for the channel, more for the channel. But I guess it's also about how um, wildlife content creators work. Well, I hope you guys learned a little bit from it. Yeah, definitely. I did. Yeah, and so what's your wildlife moment for today? Oh my gosh! <laughs> you forgot about Suddenly that, Suddenly right? I'm like getting thrown <laughs> with the question. My wildlife moment. Yeah, what's your wildlife moment? Hmm. My wildlife moment is that possibly down the line that somebody will buy this channel for six million dollars. Thirty percent share. That's not like a that's, wildlife moment. I'll be like, wow, that's, life. Wow, life. Wow, life gave me six million dollars. That's that's what thank I was saying. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, hey, thanks, wow, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, one case of driver is free. Hey, uh, yeah, wow. I I think that's a really um. It, they say YouTube is a uh, 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 what call it. Exponential, exponential growth. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, this is just we, the yeah, beginning. we we crossed a, a tough hurdle, but Good we job. crossed it. Uh, and yeah, that's the end of, of our episode. Everyone comment down below. Say good job, Sean. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, a lot of people already commented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do see that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. If that not, was fun. We'll, yeah, we'll see you again soon. Yeah. And bye-bye. bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Such a long pause. <laughs>